All right, everyone, welcome to the fourth day of Vlogmas. Today, we're gonna talk about holiday coffee. So as many of you know, I normally take my coffee black, but in the spirit of the holiday, I wanna test out something a little bit different. I wanna see if we can do a specialty holiday coffee without making it a latte. I started out with a simple pour over. It's a 16 to one ratio, so that's 16 grams to 240 milliliters. But that's not what this video is about. There's plenty of tutorials online for how to make a proper pour over. Today, we're gonna make it fancy. I wanted to start with an eggnog recipe, something that you could make from scratch at home. So I looked into the simple roots of what makes eggnog. The egg was simple, we all know what those are. But after a quick Google search, I discovered what nog was. All the ingredients you need to make eggnog. A large white egg, a nice piece of apple nog that I have fresh ground, and a cinnamon nutmeg mixture. Now, to be honest, I don't know what nutmeg looks like, so I only have the cinnamon sticks here for visual effects, but. So let's get started on that. First, we add the one large egg. Oh, and look at the, look at the rich, creamy color coming from that. Yum. Second, we add a teaspoon of nog. Mix that in nice and well. Just a hint of those spices to make it all really pop and worthwhile. What I find interesting about this recipe is that before filters were commonly used in making coffee, people actually used to use just the egg whites to clear their cup of coffee, help gather up all the grinds. Now we're just using the whole egg and creating something festive. And now I know we really shouldn't, but it's the holidays, so we're gonna live a little. Here's some whipped cream. A little more nog and spice on top to just, you know, really, really top off the experience. I don't know about you, but I'm real excited to try this recipe. Mmm, that is, that is some good festive coffee. Let's go to our on the streets team and see how it's performing out there. All right, so I'm out here with three sample sizes of the eggnog coffee. Gonna see how people out in the public actually like the drink. Anyone? Anyone around? Excuse me, miss. Uh, do you mind trying my festive holiday coffee and tell me, tell me what you think about it? Uh, sure. Huh? Yeah. Um, that's, uh, that's, uh... Are, are you not an eggnog? Are you not an eggnog fan, maybe? <laughs> no, not particularly. That's interesting. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah, do you want this back? Uh, you can, you can keep it. Okay. Well, that could have gone better. Maybe the next person will be more of a fan of eggnog. Excuse me, sir. Uh, I have these holiday coffees here. Do you mind trying one and telling the camera what you think about it? Sure. Yeah, just feel free to grab one. That was not, not an eggnog fan. <laughs> was that eggnog? Yeah, yeah. It's got a fresh egg this morning. Good, good, authentic eggnog. Do you yeah. not know what eggnog is? I Googled it. Hey, so your name is? Melissa. All right, and so you're you're down to try some of my holiday eggnog coffee? Yeah, sure. What do you think of it? This is terrible. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm oh, okay. Um, maybe okay. Well, thank you, thank you for your time. Uh, well, that that didn't go quite as expected. Um, let's let's see what's going on back in the kitchen. Well, that's strange, but I'm certain that if you follow these simple instructions, your coffee at your next festive get together will be a real hit. I'm your host, Jeff Gitch, and thanks for cooking with me today. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.